Hi there, Sarah here from Scattered Pictures Art and I have a special video for you today. This is a giveaway. Uh, sometime over Christmas I reached 250 plus subscribers on my YouTube so I wanted to put together a little something to uh, give you guys to say thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. So to enter all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment below. Today is Tuesday, February 5th, so I will do the draw in one week. Uh, so it will close on February 12th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so let's just go inside. So we're going to start. We've got on the front cool kilt pin with a little scrap of sar beaded sari trim. So pretty. And then this vintage linen. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it maybe goes in a basket for to line it for some rolls or something. And I just pinned it closed to keep it closed. And it's so pretty. Oops. See that beautiful needlework? Okay, so I'll just move the envelope collection. Some threads here. So, so pretty. So it has four of those kind of embroidered areas. So you get that linen, vintage linen, and then you get this stack of decorated envelopes. And I was just playing with my envelopes and dies and decided to create something that I could give you guys. So. We'll start here, so it's a small envelope and I've done a cutout with a Tim Holtz die and put some embossed vellum in behind there. There's some vintage lace, cheesecloth, uh, the cigarette cards are from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. They're really pretty and I've printed them out two per page so this is kind of half size. So there's some stamping and some gold paint. And on the back, I've done a wax seal, a rose. And on the inside, it's the back. On the front, I've used my new Harrison Fisher Romance um, printable ephemera. It's on my Etsy shop. And Harrison Fisher was an artist uh, in the early 20th century, around the same time that the Gibson girls were being um, produced, so uh, a, a similar to style to the Gibson Girls, so, so pretty. Okay, so there's that. And a second small envelope. This one, I embossed the envelope rather than the vellum. And we have some decoupage of Tim Holtz collage paper, a uh, printout of, a, or a stamp of a stamp. <laughs> Um, some more of the Shabby Dabby Doo Dah cigarette cards with some coffee dyed lace and cheesecloth. On the back is another wax seal. This one is a fleur de lis. More of the gold paint stamping. And another one of these. Love that. So, so pretty. Okay. So there's that. And then this one is just a regular window envelope and I did some decoupage again with the Tim Holtz collage paper. I shrunk down the Harrison Fisher Romance and used um, one of them here. Some little paper flowers, bead trim, there's lace and cheesecloth. Over here we've got a little piece of doily that I just clipped on so you could use it in your own projects. and curled paper clip with a handmade beaded charm. So there's pearls and there's this beautiful, it's a heart with a crown. It's from the, whoops, the Clotta. So it's just missing the hands from the Clotta. So that's so pretty. And then inside this envelope, oh, there's the back. So some stamping, gold paint is it's a little collection of vintage book pages. So you've got some vintage sheet music. Now this is somewhat fragile. It started to crack as I folded it. So 
You can use it in a journal or use it to collage with. It is from a music book from 1907, so it is fragile. You have a couple of pages. It's from a 1951 book of quotations, and I've chosen Wordsworth. So I've got two pages of that. You have two pages from an older copy of Pride and Prejudice. I can't, couldn't find um, the publication date on it, so but all this yellowing is natural. I haven't done any inking on it. So two pages of Pride and Prejudice. And this is from an old uh, Complete Works of Shakespeare book from the 50s, and it's a sheet from the Venus and Adonis poem. And then this one is very fragile. It is from a tiny little uh, works of Milton, and this is Paradise Regained. So you have two sheets. All that yellowing, the patina on that is natural. I haven't done any inking. I could not find a publication date for this, but it is quite old and it is falling apart. So really nice little pages there. Okay, so all, all those, are, and I put some coffee dyed polka dot paper in behind that window so when it's empty you still see something nice. Okay, so that's all from that one. Here is a little pocket that I die cut using a Tim Holtz die. Got a little applique here and some cheesecloth and some stamping. Inside is just a little tag with one of the mini images from the Harrison Fisher printables. I think I printed four Per page, for like four pages per page, so those are about a quarter size. Sewn on there, and then I cut out the rest of them and put them in here. So you've got all of them. I'll show you them bigger in a little bit. Okay. So another envelope. This one does not have a window. It does have. It is embossed. I've got the decoupage with the Tim Holtz uh, collage paper and gold paint and some lace and pearl trim and a little piece of sari there. On the back we have another wax seal of a rose, more of the decoupage and paint. And then inside this one is just, it's a piece of ephemera. I printed this from the Graphics Fairy and I distressed it with a couple different colors of Distress Ink as well as some um, Tattered Angels Color Wash. I hadn't coffee dyed the paper so I used the color wash on it and splattered it and then used two colors of Distress Ink just to give it that old look. And it's a, a French poem. And then the last envelope is tied with this length of red sari so pretty. A little, another piece of that same doily and a little bulb pin with a heart charm. And I just clipped this piece of sari on so that you could use it in your own projects. It has this heart in the sequins. So, so pretty. And another beaded charm. This one has a little key on the end and the curled paper clip. These stamps are from India. They were on the package of some sari that I ordered and I thought they were kind of cool so I've included those. Got some embossing and some... Uh, oh I also on the envelopes used some uh, Prima waxes so that gives the metallic sheen there. Uh, some more of the Shabby Dabby Duda cigarette cards, applique lace, pearl trim, some stamping and wax and on the back. And then this has the cutout with the vellum and I've included a book page that you can see through the vellum. So pretty. So inside here is a little bundle of ephemera and things that you can use. So this page is from the Country Flowers of a Victorian Lady, I think it's called, but it's got that gorgeous rose. Beautiful, beautiful um, script printing there. And then some more on the back. Got 
two pages from Edith Holden. She got February with the illustrations. And I included one of the kind of index papers so you can make envelopes or something with that. I just love the, the penmanship there. We have a vintage bingo card, a vintage bridge tally, and I don't know if you can see it. The yellowing on that is natural. It's no inking or anything. This is an old, um, it's a card to learn French. So, or for, it's in French to learn English. So that's kind of cool. There's a flash card, an old playing card, very old, naturally yellowed. And uh, it's a card from the Creative Child Games. These are from the 80s, and this is from Crazy Eights, and I just thought the zebra was so cute. So, there are five decorated envelopes, plus the little pocket, plus the sari trim and the beaded dangles. So lots of things that you can add to your own journals, or just keep them as is and enjoy them vintage book pages and I will also be putting in a laser printed copy of my Harrison Fisher romance printable so um, you'll get all 15 of those uh, images yes okay, so I'll just show these to you I love this one with the cupid so cute page. And the wedding one is so pretty. Love this one at the opera. And then so, like I said, um, to enter the giveaway, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. And I will do the draw at noon on February 12th. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.